so yeah, I just decided that I'm gonna not cut my hair and leave as is, and people will learn to love it. Because if they don't, then they won't have me in their life. <laughs> and simply, obviously, what's the better choice? To either love my hair or not have me in their life. Like, I think it's to love my hair. Like, you know, if you don't love my hair, I'm not gonna be in your life. I'll just be like, fuck you. Okay, like, I've already had too many relationships lost because of my hair problems. Like, it's not my fault it grows like this, it just does. It's uncontrollable, whatever. Like, you know, I like it, I'm used to it, it took me a long time to get used to it, so, you know, I'm gonna keep it. And, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know what I decided. Oh my god, I have this nasty story I have to tell you. Um, I went to a bar last night, and I woke up, well, I bought the, this one old man comes up to me, and he was like Mexican or like native or something, and he was like, can I buy you a drink? And he kind of smelled like aftershave, which I kind of liked, so like, I was like, yeah, sure, like, you know, whatever, it's drink, right? Like, so then I took this drink, like, he's like, hey, hold on, I'll go get it. So then he comes back with this drink, and I drank it, like, fuck, I was thirsty, and I, I had no money for a drink, so I was like, yeah, fucking right, it's like, you know, you know? So I drank it, and then I started getting really dizzy. I'm like, whoa, that drink really worked. Like, I thought it was, like, a triple or something. And then next thing you know, we go outside. For whatever reason, I don't remember. And then we start walking down the block, down an alley. And then it was... And then we were behind this Max. And then all of a sudden, I woke up behind this Max. And then there's this other guy who's totally, for sure, native. I knew it, because he smelled... He had... Ew, he was bummy. And, like... Yeah, I woke up and there was, like, a condom, like, in my ass. And, like, went to the bar because the pub is open all night. And I told some guys and they laughed at me. And, you know, I felt really bad because I tried to tell them what happened because I needed someone to talk to. And, like, you know, that's just, it goes to, like, the reason why I talk to you guys. Because, like, you no, know, you guys don't laugh at me. You guys are there for me. Like, you listen. Like, that's never, ever happened before. And, like... You know, it's just something that I've always wanted, like, but someday, though, I'm going to be so hot, and, like, everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, why was I ever mean to him? And I'll be like, because you were, okay? But now, look at me, and look at you, you know? I've had this face since I was, like, 15, okay? It's not changing anytime soon, but... Everyone else's will, okay? My hair, it will change. I have confidence in that. And if not, I'll get, like, plastic surgery on my hair or something. Like, if I have to. Like, I'm going to school. I'll be rich. I'll be famous. Not famous, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, rich enough to be famous. And, like, yeah, my hair will be, like, uh, because I'll get plastic surgery on it, okay? And if I'm not tall enough, by that point... I don't know, like, whatever. I'll just be, like, really good-looking because of everything else. Maybe I'll, like, do something, you know? Maybe I'll, like, bark at the bar. Like, that'd be a, that's, like, a big dream of mine. I've already applied four times. They, they don't accept me. Even, like, the grungy old bear bar I applied at, and they don't accept me. Like, but... Whatever. My job, I work stocking shelves at... Shoppers Drug Mart, and it pays me eight fifty an hour, but it just you know all I have to do is go through school and I'll make my money and then I'll do my hair. But yeah, anyways, I'm babbling, so I'm gonna let you go.